America is an enemy of Islam for all the Islamists since it attacks the Muslim states uh, such as Iraq. Even more, they lead a coalition against the, the intervention of many countries in Syria against a Muslim country. So it's an individual duty for the Ain in Arabic for each Muslim to fight and to carry out attacks, terrorist attacks, even against civilians in the United States and against American citizens wherever they are. So it will not change this point. Even more, the fact that President Trump has signed this decree means for the Muslims that he is strong. And there is one condition, one condition in Islam that uh, authorizes the Muslim not to carry out jihad, it is his weakness. It's called in Arabic, dufe muminina. When you are weak, you must not carriage, carry out jihad. So when President Trump leads a harsh policy, a straight policy against these terrorist states, from them come the terrorists. They uh, prepare them in these countries and they send them to Europe and to the United States. And then when he has a strong policy against these countries, this is the long-term unique policy to avoid and to prevent attacks again the West. We would like lead uh, President Abbas say to uh, Donald Trump, the president-elect, do not move the embassy to Jerusalem, otherwise it's going to be a big mess. Yeah, it, it may be that there will be uh, some uh, protests and uh, maybe they will try to carry out more uh, terrorist attacks. But as a matter of fact, Jerusalem is not a holy place for Muslims. You have to remember, for example, Ibn Taymiyyah is the prominent scholar for the Muslim Brothers and for the Salafi movement. And in the 14th century, he wrote a fatwa, it means a, a juridical decision and, uh, concerning Jerusalem. And he said, I will quote it from the Arabic, from this fatwa, وَلَيْسَ بِبَيْتِ الْمَقْدِسِ مَكَانٌ يَسْمَى حَرْمًا It means in English, there is no holy place in Beit al-Magdis. Beit al-Magdis could mean the Temple Mount and generally Jerusalem. Jerusalem is not holy for the Muslims. For the Muslim, for Islam, there are only two holy places. And there are Mecca and Medina. And Jerusalem is named Salis el Haramaini, the third of the two holy places. It is not a holy place. And when uh, Caliph Omar built the al aqsa Mosque, he didn't we accept the advice of the Kaab el uh, Akbar. He was a Jew who converted to Islam, and he said, place this mosque in the place of a dome uh, of a rock. And he said, no, because the direction of the prayer should be to Mecca. And uh, we, will, we will show the well, uh, back to Jerusalem. It means it's not only an, an, it's not an only place, it's a place that uh, we should be uh, look with contempt uh, on Jerusalem in Islam. As an expert to uh, Middle East, to Islam, what is the message that you uh, say today to the President uh, Donald Trump? Stay strong. This is the only way to fight and name the problem as you do it now. And it's perfect. You have this uh, radical Islamic and this terrorist, and you should fight them. And the only way 
to deal with this is to fight them. Because if you try to have some negotiations with them, it means that you are weak. I will give you an example. El Kardawi, who is the president of our days, most important scholar for the Muslim Brothers and for all the Islamic, for, for all the Islamic world. And when Hamas was weak, and, he say, and the Hamas said, we want to have some negotiations with Israel. He told them, Israel is ready to lead negotiations with you. It means that Israel is weak, so I forbid you to have negotiations with Israel. So it's a very good point that President Trump wants to move the embassy of the United States in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. This is the uh, natural capital of Israel. It is not mentioned even one time in the Quran, and it's more than 600 times in the Bible. And uh, the President Trump swore on the Bible, on his personal Bible, he knows it better than I do.